Earth signs, what's going on? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's clear out the energy. Let's see what's going on. All right, Earth signs. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. No tarot is for entertainment purposes and also to give you some clarity to your situation. I want you to put your hand up and take a deep breath, a couple deep breaths here. And release and just push that energy over to me so I could get you the best guidance possible. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see. Let me see my little prayer. We'll get started. All right. So you don't have to be an earth sign for the read to resonate with you. If it found you, it just may be for you. So when I came down, I found a card on the floor here, which is the Ace of Wands. So it looks like uh, you're going to be coming into some passionate things, passionate moments, or becoming really inspired in your own energy. All right, we're going to check it out. What's going on with my earth signs? Earth signs, what's going on? Sorry, the little arm here is in the shot. Still working it, working it out. Work out. Mm -mm. <laughs> you may like uh, 80s or 90s aerobic music. Like I just thought of uh, Jane Fonda. See, it may wear your cute little spandex pants. Very colorful. Okay. <laughs> okay, Four of Pentacles. That's good. It's in reverse. So something isn't going to be held back. So if there's been resistance with you, it's being lifted. So what's going on with my earth signs in love? What's going on, earth signs? Yeah, you're looking sexy. Sexy. You're looking like the star. Taking on the queen of uh, wands and energy. Very charismatic, very passionate. You're probably a very passionate person. You probably talk loud. You use your hands. You're a very animated person. Um, you're rising. You're a rising star. I think you guys have healing properties. You're looking really sexy in your Jane Fonda gear. <laughs> All right. And there's the four of uh, pentacles in reverse. So, yeah. You're, uh, you're coming out of greedy energy. Maybe you guys have been held back in your energy. And now you're just like, you're done with sitting around waiting for things to happen. You're just like, hey, here I am. I'm the star. You got a lot of ideas. You got a lot of uh, admiration. A lot of people are inspired uh, by your actions or just the way you look. You just... You get all the hot rods saluting your fine ass. <laughs> you walk by, they're like, damn, who's that? You know, people asking about you. Really, like, really desiring you. Whether this is to work with you, <laughs> pet your hot rod or your warm apple pie, or just like wanting to be a friend of yours. People just want to know you and know what you do. There could be somebody that's coming out of very cold, aloof, blunt energy that wasn't very expressive. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, coming out of a harsh tongue. All right. My hat keeps hitting it. Hitting it. <laughs> somebody wants to hit it. <laughs> All right. Keep getting this song in my head, but I can't put it into words. How it's playing in my head, but it sounds like like an '80s, '90s beat to it. So illumination, you're traveling. You could be traveling different places, or you're questioning where you should travel. 
travel next. Some of you guys are going to ranches. You're going to horse ranches or stables here. Very nice. All right, so who's coming in for you guys? The Fool card. Fool energy. All right. Somebody is leaping into you guys. Taking lighthearted energy. Little bit of a jokester, class clown person. They are uh, making a judgment call to heat things up between the two of you. They want to start some passionate beginnings with you. You have opportunity. The, this door, this judgment, this door is opening for you. So doors are opening for you in finances. Doors are opening for you in the romance department. Sexy time. Um, so expect uh, if you haven't been making enough money, if you haven't been able to find a job or get the... Um, the bull rolling with your careers expect some doors to open for you that are really going to excite you this is really exciting news that's coming in for you you're just like wow may even make you a star or celebrity with this this opportunity that's leaping leaping into you you're going to be surprised by this you've been leaps and bounds you've been doing the best that you can with your abilities and it's it's showing you you could be protective right now of your energy you're a little defensive because you're healing from some things here but you're going to be swirled in some really really nice energy coming in what's the king of swords King of Swords is the Moon card. Like I said, the Moon card in reverse. This King of Swords is coming out of this Moon energy, coming out of deception, coming out of being hidden, uh, coming out of that harsh tongue that they've had with you. Any kind of hidden feelings with that uh, super moon that came in last week. Things are being brought to light for you guys. Cancer, Pisces. So you're moving away from thievery. You're moving away from people that keep you trapped and bound in your head. People that lie, cheat, and steal. Or they just, they're escapists. They just run away from you with no explanation. That's what you're traveling away from. You're traveling away. You're becoming stronger. You could have a, uh, a Leo coming in for you. You're the Empress or a Taurus energy. Some of you guys may be having some jaw issues or, or hearing issues or ear issues. I'm hearing like clicking in my, in my ear. So it may be like um, tendonitis. Is that what it's called? Tendonitis or uh, you may have TMJ. So you might want to do some exercises holding your hand under your jaw. And just pushing your jaw down and create resistance and that uh, may release some tension from your jaw so you could be stressed out right now um, but it, it's passing you're becoming stronger wiser you're elevating you're going through an awakening here you're becoming stronger this person sees that you are very strong in your energy they like how nurturing you are and how upbeat and how uplifted. You are a very uplifting person and they like this. They look at you as a very strong individual. See, these doors are going to these doors that are opening up are going to make you feel like an empress, feel like you are just floating. Floating towards your success, floating towards a really nice romantic energy star card and the seven of wands what's that oh sharing you see sharing is caring somebody's sharing their strawberries with you sharing time sharing finances even reciprocation here like two kids in a playground 
you're you taking on like a childlike energy with this person here. They're like, here, take my take my gift. There's gonna be a lot of gift giving coming in. This uh, air sign coming out of moon energy. Four of Wands is wanting a partnership, healthy, healthy, happy partnership with you. So I expect communication to come in from either an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, or a Sagittarius that's wanting to come in here. This person has been uh, tempering themselves, being patient. You could feel like the Sagittarius, you have a question mark about the Sagittarius. You may feel like the Sagittarius is a thief in the night and you're not sure if they're going to be traveling in for you. You see the question mark on the illumination up here. So you have, you have questions about this person, whether they're thieving or they're trustworthy or whether or not you should travel towards them or not. This person may have been holding back from you, but the four of pentacles in reverse now, they're not holding back from you. So this person could have been a thief previously. We'll see more about it. But in your mind, you're like, hmm, should I travel towards this person? Or are they gonna put a knife in my back? All right, strength card, full card. So I feel like you have a lot of people coming in for you. Straight across the board, relationships, career, friendships, friends, yeah, family. This uh, possible Leo, Aries, Sag, Aquarius, um, is feeling uh, bad. They're feeling they're in lack right now. They are laying down. They're not getting too much in their life. They're getting breadcrumbed. They're trying to rebuild their life, but things are just not going accordingly. They, this person is charging, want to take action towards you. Eight of wands, maybe in the next eight days, eight weeks, I keep seeing it, or the eighth of this month. Could have been born in 85 or 58, 57, uh, 75 or 78, 76, 62, 68, 65. All right. So what is this person bringing you? What are these people bringing you? The wheel of fortune. What did I say? They're giving you gifts? I'm telling you. This, this opportunity that's coming in is going to make you feel so rich, abundant, fortunate. Like this person just like, here, take all my riches. Here, take all my healing energy. Here, I got what you need. You don't have to defend and protect yourself. I got you. Wheel of fortune, change is coming in. If you weren't feeling blessed... You weren't feeling like the star. If you're feeling broke, that's going to be past tense. Wheel of Fortune. Real nice. Four of Wands, partnership. What's this King of Swords doing? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming in for relationship. They're bursting. They're bursting out in emotions. They are just wrapped in love energy for you. Wrapped. Wrapped in it. Six of Wands wanting to be victorious here. This, um, this Sagittarius possibly has the Queen of Pentacles on their mind. That, this is what this Sagittarius is wanting. The queen of pentacles, you, they want you because you show up as caring and giving. You give them stability, you give them care, concern, consistency. They see that you are just victorious on your own. 
and they want a piece of that. They want to get involved, involved with you. But you have that question mark there. Can I, can I get victory with this person or is this person going to deceive me? Let's ask. Let's see. The Sagittarius for the earth signs. What is their intention with the earth signs? <laughs> what do you say? They see you as very structured, very strong, very bold. You're courageous in your energy. You give a lot of love to them. They want to love you. They are like, this is my person. This is a soulmate. This person meets me on an emotional level. I'm really excited to come in and show this person that I can be a support system for them, that they can lean on me, that they can cry to me, that I can support them. Well, Leo Cancer. So I don't feel like this person's a thief in the night. They're not coming in to burden you. So why are you thinking that they're a thief? Why do you feel like they're going to deceive you? You're fearful. They're going to deceive you. Queen of Cups. So you may feel like this person is dealing with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's showing that this person is not dealing with this Queen of Cups. They've dropped. This person could have dropped options to come to give you love energy. So they could have been with someone else, and that's why, see, and Scorpio. That's why you, you were thinking that they were, gonna, they were thieving and that the relationship was just a dead end. It's not going anywhere because they were connected to somebody else, but they're not. They're not connected to anybody else, or they won't be. They're ending it. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Cups. They are becoming very well-balanced. They got you on their mind to come in as a lover. Take you off the motherfucking market. Look at you. Getting unstuck with you. Pisces energy, Gemini. This person wants to get unstuck. Take you off the market. So you could get out of your head about that person. Because this person's coming in with genuine love energy for you. You may have thought this person was a player from the Himalayas, but they, uh, I don't think so. Sagittarius, see the Sagittarius, they're, they may have been going hot and cold with you, but I just feel like this was not this person's intention to go hot and cold with you. They may have been coupled, yeah, they may have been coupled up with someone else, but they're feeling like they need to travel towards you, that they need to protect this, this connection and leave anybody. The other person was insecure and immature. They could have been a younger uh, cancer or a younger fire sign. They could be dark skin too. You're Egyptian. Dark hair, dark skin. They're, uh, they're protecting themselves. From this immature energy. This one over here. What are they doing? Come in to value you. Yeah. See? They value you. And they're going to let you know that they want to put effort into you. That you, you got what they need. So there's not going to be much indecision here about the third party about this person celebrating with other people i don't think this person intended to put you in a third party uh you could have just been friends with this person networking with this person knowing that they were attached uh wanting them but you were just looking at them like oh you're just you're coming in to play me you probably might have felt like this person is just coming in um to sex on you and get you stuck and, and caught up in your head and having late night 
late nights with you and then they're gonna leave you to be an insomniac I don't think that's what this person is trying to do from what I see here but use your discernment always always watch people's actions and behavior and and words now you also have a Leo which that could have been the same person Leo Aries Sag fire signs Sagittarius showed up twice in that column so I'm saying it's a Sagittarius it doesn't have to be they could just be taking on that energy now this this Leo Aries person that's in lack energy that's wanting to leap into you this person feels foolish this person's trying to become stronger this this person sees that you're you're sexy um, they see that you are holding to your value that you're sitting still and you're you're feeding yourself well see you could be you know looking a little healthier than than this person is used to seeing you so this person this leo person they're wanting to invest capricorn they're wanting to invest you may feel like this person is only coming in in a lustful, toxic, manipulative way, or they're just coming in for finances. They may feel like you are abundant financially and they could just slide right in and uh, smooth you over. This person sees that you're getting your big, you're getting, you're investing in yourself and you're becoming more abundant. And that turns this guy on over here. Wheel of Fortune. Again. Wheel of Fortune with the Queen of Wands. This person wants change. What is this Leo person wanting? Putting in the effort to travel towards you. So this person wants to travel. They want change. What type of change are they wanting, though? They're wanting communication. This person will be coming out of hiding. They could be a little mysterious in their energy. You may feel like this person only tells so much that they leave a lot of details out from you. King of Pentacles keeps coming out, so I feel like this person is working. This person is working on becoming financially secure. They may feel that they don't have enough financially for you. Because you're showing up as very wealthy, very, very blessed, very, very rich. And they were showing up as the Five of Pentacles, like not really having too much. But they're working hard to become stable and grounded and they want to come back and heal. They want to come in and heal and lay down their defense and come out of a crossroads with you and come out of all the illusions. And they want to bring gifts and lighthearted energy to you. They want to reverse the moon energy. They want to be truthful with you. And this person wants the 10 of cups. They're trying to mature for you, Aries energy. They're trying to boss up in order to bring you truth and honesty and clarity, they know that they have to come out of hiding, treat you as the star, show you that they, they are stable and they're abundant, that they've really done the work. You guys got your hands full, huh? So that's that, uh, that Leo that you're dealing with. Now this could all be one person or several people. Place yourself where you have to place yourself. We got one more person on the board here. And that's your king of cups. Well, you could have a king of cups and you could have a king of swords. But that could be one person also. You got vic victory and you got wheel of fortune. So, whatever you're twirling right now, it's working in your favor. You're going to feel magnificent. So, who's this other person? They're seeing that you're single and you're independent and you're doing okay on your own. That you're transforming your life. Bottom line, you're transforming your life.
with these people over here you could have been a side chick or this person did put you in a third party also this, these people decided to go celebrate with somebody else on the sidelines they put you on the sidelines this person this could just be friends too this is like a group of people gathering together um celebrating but as they celebrate they got your name in their mouth like there's gossiping going on about you your home life your legacy where you're getting your funds from what you're doing what you're not doing doing uh you know some people some people sitting there saying oh yeah uh she or he is acting like they got all these celebrations meanwhile their baskets are empty they don't got a clue these people don't got a clue somebody's thinking about legacy how to build financially how to climb up the ladder so you may have some people um at work that are trying to step over you to get ahead it's not gonna work because you're the master manifester you're the magician you have all the tools that you need but there is manipulators over here with this king of swords and the king of cups they are trying to manipulate something here what the fuck are they finances this person these people are trying to throw you into illusions they have several options they're hiding options or hiding that they're manipulator hiding that they're shit talking you in the background hiding uh maybe some finances some of them sorry some of them could be hiding a, a, a partner someone they're married to they're hiding but it's not going to burden you so it's okay because you're the empress everybody wants the empress regardless of gender male female don't matter the empress and the queen of queen of pentacles like who's better than you who's better than you you got an awesome heart you're very caring you're very motherly you're very strong but yet you're very feminine in your energy you would to any man or woman you would be a really good support system for them you got an emperor coming in for your ass to claim you to match you whoops to match your energy some boss energy I'm telling you somebody very successful there's going to be very successful people coming in for you and opening that that uh oh opening that car door is somebody oh getting you car service fancy you're going to be in some from blacked out window car this person it's famous it's a famous rich well-known person that is just seeing you in your beauty they see you as a feminine they see your feminine side and this person just wants to scoop your ass up make you one of their responsibilities here they see you very uh you're very mystical you stay to yourself you observe everything you have a lot of knowing charging in with love energy So <laughs> with that going on, so you may be getting some calls that you just are refusing to answer. Maybe some of these people, you're just like, I know, I know all the, the shit you've said about me. I, I know every single harsh word that you said to me, you undermine me. You, you don't show up for me. You're not supportive of me. And you're just like three strikes you're out three strikes you're out there's no more strike in this this uh, matchbook anymore this matchbox anymore there's no more getting into this box 
you had your chances. So you're withholding and you're protecting yourself and you're moving away. You're traveling away to heal, to heal from the fighting, to heal from the volcano moments, to heal from not being prioritized or valued from the people in your life. You're healing from all the trauma that people have put you through. Relationships, marriages, anybody that has cut you down, you're, you're, you have a clean slate coming in. You're like, no, I'm not going to lay down and have you put me in conflict. I'm going towards a happy, healthy partnership now. I'm not going to take your, your fishy couple of, your immature. Uh, these people lack emotional intelligence. So there's a group of people that you just, you just like, eh, three strikes you're out. And then there's another few people that are really going to prove, uh, prove that they need a spot in your life. And that they're bringing you success and abundance and fortune into your fucking life. And not taking away shit from you. Like these, these, this king of swords and this king of cups. They were taking too much from you. Not giving. Not giving you what you deserve. It will always like, you know, delusional. They were egotistical. Egotistical, nasty, control freaks that don't have enough they're insecure they don't know their own power or their own value so they're going to try to devalue you but you're not having it anymore you're committing to yourself you've you've been seeking higher counsel some of you guys have been talking to lawyers and therapists maybe setting up a read with me i'm here for you taurus energy leo libra energy you're just like, I am becoming stronger. I am becoming wiser. I am uplifting. I have more awareness. And I refuse to be stuck. I refuse to be bound in my head. I refuse to stay up late at night over a relationship, a person. This lover is charging into you. Gemini energy with the hot rod all right with that partnership it's not just a hot rod so who are you choosing who are you choosing for this partnership here what's going on you want to see my cute pants i've been getting a lot of uh, compliments on it all day because a whole lot of booty a whole lot of ass i love them you know how i feel about patterns guys if you want your booty to look big and bootylicious, get some pattern pants <laughs> and the jiggle jiggle with <laughs> you'll be jiggling all over the place. You get the guys like, huh? Okay. <laughs> guys like pattern pants. I don't know. <laughs> That's just how I've been getting the comments. I think you're bootylicious even without the uh, the pattern pants. Let's see. The runner. Yeah, you're running away from codependent relationships. People could have been running away from you because they were fearing intimacy. They were feel fearing the connection. Uh, they knew that you had a codependency on them. And they were listening to their ego. And that's why they were running. But now you're becoming the runner. You're just like, nah. I don't need to stay attached to you. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm going to transform. I'm going to be lighthearted. And I'm going to, to adapt to the changes that are coming in. And, you know, I'm going to heal. Bottom line. Money coming. You're going to be coming too. On the bottom of the deck, you got money coming in. Sexy time. Ooh, somebody has a really smooth rocket for you. <laughs> they just want to... Massage, massage you, massage the tip. Okay. Sexy time. Strength card on the bottom of the deck here. Leo energy. Oh, it wasn't the bottom. I thought it was the bottom. It was upright. So, grabbing the bull by its horn and going to pound town. 
taming the beast you've tamed this person so who are you choosing you're choosing a leo here strength card or are you choosing the sagittarius who are you choosing or is that one person hmm be different for all <laughs> are you choosing the leo or the sagittarius tell me you're not fucking with a leo and a sagittarius leo strength card sagittarius temperance i think you've had a lot of trials and tribulations with the leo a lot of fighting a lot of aggression a lot of like can't you see me why can't you do better a lot of a lot of issues with this person sagittarius i feel is just very balanced um yeah, they may have been hot and cold with you and not giving in to you and just being patient. They've just been patient. They're they're not they haven't been in a big rush um to get things started and to give you kisses. <clears throat> they could be a little fearful or a little timid. They're a little shy. They're a little shy in their energy. But both of these people here want to reciprocate you. One of them is having a hard time walking away from you or walking away from the spilt milk. And I feel like that's this uh, Leo energy that's coming back. And like, listen to me, hear me. They're going to grab your hand and put it on their chest. Like, hear what I have to say. I want to reciprocate you. I know I walked away from you, but I've been watching you the whole time. The Sagittarius, uh, it feels like it will be balanced with this person. You're just over there drinking your tea, having your tits out, and just being really cool, calm, and collected while this person travels in and is, like, admiring you and wanting to soak you in a rose bath and put roses down and just see you relax. They're trying to manifest relaxing with you. This person feels like they, they, got, they got what you need. They got what you need. What does the Sagittarius want to do with the earth signs? Oh, spank your little ass? <laughs> they want to communicate. Coming in with fast communication. They want to fuck you fast. <laughs> they want to pull your hair and spank you. Oh, this one is a tough one. They want to dominate you. Like They want you to crawl to them. Look at that body. The body's on point abs shoulders arms chest they got it all and look at you a little hiney you're just like meow all right i'll crawl to you mm -mm -mm. this person may have uh, a past relationship uh that they left they may have children with this past person Right. There's there's kids and a, a woman or a man outside the door looking in. As this this man whips your ass and pulls your hair, making you scream. Very loud. Maybe the neighbor's like, <laughs> "What does this person want from you? What do they want? I think they want love. They want love." Nine of Cups, they want celebrations. They want to communicate. They want to pinch your nipples with their feet. They want to submit to you. The Queen of Pentacles, they want to submit to you. This person will bow to you. They'll dominate you if you want that. They they will. They're boss. But they're also feminine. Like masculine feminine, I feel like this person's balanced. They'll like comfort you. Uh, massage your feet and really yeah lay down to your needs like a true masculine energy here like they will give you both sides they'll provide for you they'll give to you lovingly they'll embrace you keep you very close and give you that quality time the physical touch this person's also will buy gifts for you uh, and then they'll also whip your ass when you're out of fucking line. <laughs> Nothing better than that. All right. 
That's looking good. So expect the celebrations with this person. There's gonna be someone looking looking at you guys. Not really liking it too much. This person's tickling your nipples. But you got Ace of Swords. This is an honest, uh, honest connection with honest communication. So your fear of this person being a thief is, is the King of Pentacles. They're very secure. They're very hard worker, and they're a protector. I feel like this person is very big. They could be big this way or like big up or maybe all around giant. Like six foot five. And you're being all innocent, pulling your panties up, saying, don't look at me. <laughs> you don't want this person to look at you because I feel like you feel like there's somebody back here. There's somebody in the background 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 so are you fearful that this person may be already entangled in a relationship and you don't want to be rejected by them but i i feel like they're clearing up something here now that leo let's see if that's a different person i feel like for some it's you're dealing with leo others of you you're dealing with both that's it what's this leo doing They're staring at you, seeing that you're a witch. <laughs> you are the high priestess. You have the all-knowing. You stay to yourself. You don't really speak unless you're spoken to. You analyze everything. You watch and you observe and you see through things. This person feels like you see right through them. They don't, yeah, they may not give you many details, but you know it all. Your awareness, your intuition is on point. You're the queen of pentacles. The first, this person is also uh, manifesting, laying down to your needs. Maybe taking you out for pedicures. They know. They know that you're royalty, this person. And they're manifesting it. Manifesting because they're feeling very nostalgic about the love energy that you gave them. That closeness how they could show uh, vulnerability to you. And this could be a twin flame for some of you guys. They're wanting to swing. Swing right into a healthy, happy partnership. See, you got mad people on the board wanting to have a relationship with you. They just want to get behind you and grab you by the hips and shove you into them. They could have been dealing with a lot of pigeon heads. Dirty laundries airing out. Hmm. What's the outcome with the the Leo Wheel of Fortune and the Tower? So this connection had to crumble. I think some things in this person's life is crumbling, and now they're they're allowed, or now they feel like they could come towards you to bring you fortune because they got their fortune up. They got out of a relationship. They let shit go. Your ex may not like this person coming in and fucking you. But, oh well. Oh well. You have a new passionate beginning right there. Somebody wants to lay with you. You know, set a fire and just really have some intimate moments in like very low dim lighting. This person likes dim lighting. Feeding you emotionally. Bringing in little gifts. Messages of stability is coming in with this person. So I think you're going to be happy with this judgment call this person's bringing you. They're, they're making a judgment call to stay tied to you. Stay with you with your perky titties. You may have a past uh, child on the other side too that's putting you, you guys together. You may have one child uh, living. Okay. Really nice. Okay, we're going we're going long. I still got to do my TikTok reads. Let's uh start closing it out a little bit. So I have 
a mindfulness networking group called Visionary Movements Mindfulness Networking. If you'd like to join, it's $10 weekly. It's a Zoom call every Wednesday night, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time. And if you can't afford the $10 weekly, just reach out to me on Instagram. I do have free slots available or rootsandrewards.com to RSVP under bookings and services. I'm live on TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray, Roots and Rewards, Jesse. We will be live on both accounts plus YouTube this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Booking reads with me, rootsandrewards.com. I got 20 minute reads, 30 minute reads, 40 minute reads. I don't read on the weekend, so if you book on a Friday, you probably won't get it until the next uh, Monday or Tuesday, depending where you fall on my read list. And um, yeah, I feel like you guys were dealing with the player energy previous. Like, I just want sex, and you're healing from this player energy, and this this person it has matured from their player tendencies. I do have merch on my website if you're interested in that. I have chakra healing intention candles. I have mini protection jars with charms and Savorsky crystal. Large ones. We have protection spray bottles, witch hazel, all different flavors. Lavender, lemon, lemon mint, lavender mint, peppermint. Those are cute for the car. And my Oracle decks, the Sexy Time Oracle deck and the Love Me, Love Me Not Oracle deck, both available on my website. And we're going to end it with a love message. Next up is going to be Water Signs. Make sure that you're liking, subscribing. Give me some feedback so I continue to do the reads for you guys want to know how it resonates with you oh sexual union coming on in honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss mm, see they want you in dim lighting in the bed kissing on your neck checking out your side boob you got a nice side boob you're a booby guy sexual union it doesn't want to go back in so explain <laughs> explain yourself you like explain yourself get down on your knees and explain yourself and then get on my bean <laughs> balanced twin flame love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges that's what i was saying at the beginning this person is going to support you and challenge you to become better and then help heal you from other uh, trust issues or fear of intimacy they're going to give you a lot of intimate moments so just get ready to get petted oh so nicely guys keep yourself in high regard i'll see you next time uh and that's all, folks. Bye. Oh, I have an Amazon wish list if you'd like to buy me a present. It's much appreciated. It's in my Linktree link. Bye.